in a dramatic twist. The Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saraki, and his deputy, Ike Kweromadu, have been left off the, uh, off the hook. An Abuja High Court today struck out a two-count charge of criminal conspiracy and forgery of the Senate standing rules filed against the Senate President, Dr. Saraki, his deputy, Ike Kweromadu, former clerk of the National Assembly, Abuka Mekasua, and the current deputy clerk of the National Assembly by the federal government. Justice Yusuf Alilu struck out the charges following an application by the prosecutor, Ali Umar, who said the case will constitute an abuse of court processes and therefore should be discontinued. Here are the views of the lawyers in the case after the proceedings. Like I said, in court, we have reviewed the applications. And it's true that there is a case, even though it was by a senator, challenging the Attorney General and the Inspector, of General, uh, Inspector General of Police to investigate and prosecute this case. And for that reason, we felt that we shouldn't be playing one court against the other. Uh, there is a possibility that there may be conflicting judgments. And this government, like the Attorney General instructed me, adheres to the rule of law and fairness, fair hearing. That's why we are withdrawing this case, pending the time when that case will be completed. Uh, the case naturally had to come to an end because of the existence of an abuse of process. And uh, there's no need to go into it. Uh, we're quite delighted that council brought his experience to bear in the matter and the case has been brought to a close. I hope that this sad chapter never repeats itself. Uh, those are the lawyers in that case. Well, Sraki uh, and Ikorimado, the Senate President, of course, and his deputy, they've reacted to the outcome of today's court proceedings. The duo described the verdict of the federal uh, uh, FCT High Court dismissing the charges of forgery of the Senate standing orders 2015 and the subsequent uh, discharge as a welcome development and a vindication of their position from the beginning of the case that they are innocent of the accusations uh, leveled against them. In a statement signed by the special advisor to the president, to the Senate president, that is, on media and publicity, Yusuf Olani Yanu, the presiding officers of the upper chamber of the National Assembly said the court decision was consistent with their position that the case lacked any merit and that the charge of forgery of the Senate rule filed against them can never be substantiated by any fact. The two men described the case as a politically induced distraction, which came at a time when all hands must be on deck to solve the problem of economic recession, biting the people, destroying homes and creating severe social disorientation in communities. They, however, acknowledge that the federal government finally displayed courage and strength of character in halting the unnecessary waste of precious time of both parties by agreeing with the defense team that a case lacks merit and therefore should be discontinued. Well, now let's get some perspective to this matter now. Joining me is a former senator and a former minister of works, Senator Adeshaye Ogunlewe. Many thanks for coming on the program. It's my pleasure. Uh, let's look at the anti-corruption fight of the government. There was a case that was instituted, a case that was investigated by the police and instituted by the federal government, the office of the attorney general. But now that case has been dropped. Uh, some people said at the beginning of this case that it was politically motivated. But with the standard of the federal government to withdraw this case, does it show that? Honestly, it's, it's, it's laughable that a federal government and the attorney general will go to a court to prosecute the Senate for forging their rules. <laughs> what is your business? If, if I say this is my rule, are you going to tell me it is as such that proves? But it was, a, sen proof it was a senator in their ranks that petitioned. Then the senator should have gone to court. That would have been a different matter entirely. But you are not a member of the Senate. We are, we are now telling the Senate that they for their, their, I mean, their rules. They will just tell you that is our rules. You want us to uh, affirm it again? They will propose it. Somebody will second it, and they will ratify it. So, what is your own business? It is clear that they just went on a frolic. That is the federal government. But, but it, it, the, the real sense of the judicial process is that it, the police usually investigates, 
and when he finds something, he pu I mean, he presents the case perhaps sometimes to the Attorney General for prosecution okay. in court. What is the business of the police with my rules? But the, the petition was written to the police As to investigate okay, the you, you, the police will now prove that the rules we are using in the Senate have been forged. How do you prove it? We, okay, if you say this is a forged document, we will affirm it with a resolution that that is our rule. What are you going to do? But are you saying it is right for the Senate to, to, to forge their own rules? To alter. They cannot forge a rule. Without the consent of the others. In the, yeah, it is for them to raise process. it on the floor, through plenary, and it will be ratified that that is the correct thing. Okay. You right. can raise it, there will be a motion for and against, and they will... They would, they would debate it. But in this case now, when some uh, of the members of the, uh, of the Senate says that rule was doctored without yeah. our consent, without a due process. And when that case was uh, petitioned and taken to the police for investigation, do you say that is wrong? No. The senator that observed some alterations in the rules would have raised it on the floor of the Senate. And then there will be explanation. Where you are not comfortable with the explanation, you move a motion that it should be expunged. Somebody will move a counter motion to say, no, that is our rule. And then they will not put it in the vote. You, 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 you are you saying that it shouldn't have, in the first place, be taken out of uh, the, the chamber. It is a frolic. It, is, it, it has nothing to do with an outsider. So it's like a, it's, it's like a cultic uh, a situation where anything that happens, happens there in the other chamber. It is our rules. We can object to some provisions in the rules, but we raise it on the floor of the Senate. Never to be taken outside. For what purpose? Okay, but as it stands now, what do you make of the stand, or the move of the federal government? Does it look like they, they played maturity in this, or it looks like uh, they confirmed the fact that it was all politically motivated in the first place? It is you who have assets that proves. So how can you prove to me that, that my rules are, were forged? So how do you prove it? Are, are, you, did you, are you saying that Sen Senator Saraki and Ekwerimadu are vindicated? Are they right in the sense that, look, the federal government in the first place is just witch hunting them? My dear, a political party in government is like a football team. Mr. President is the captain of the team. The vice president is there. The senior president is a part of the team, including the, 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 I mean, the leadership. Then the same thing with House of Rep. That is the team that Nigerians are expecting to provide leadership and make, make sure that we have a very good government. Immediately, you now to fight, start to fight with your striker or your wingers. How can that government you know, perform? Hmm. It was unnecessary. So it was a witch hunt? I won't say so, but it was unnecessary, definitely. Uh, but this, this, today's decision by the court or by the, by, by the federal government to, to withdraw the case, does it say that it was a witch hunt? Why did they go into the state case you know, at the beginning? It was clear. How can the Attorney General determine the rules of the Senate? How can he? But he that means he, he overstepped his bound? No, but he, he was just bringing a script that was not desirable. Maybe he's, he's an interloper, like the courts will say. I don't know. A medicine me, interloper, it, it, court it, it, will always say that. That is not his job. Okay. Uh, let's look at, uh, let's anticipate what uh, uh, the issue of the economy, the Senate concord to the uh, request of the lower chamber that the president should appear before the joint session of the National Assembly. Some people have called. On this program, uh, uh, Professor Audrey Kalu has asked that the president is due to appear before the, the joint session of the National Assembly. Uh, what do you see, make of the call? Do you think it's the right, right Mr. one? Mr. President, this is an opportunity for you to lay before the entire world, you know, the, your economic policy that will attract investors back to Nigeria. Two, it's for you to assure the Nigerian industrialists what your government wants for industrial development of Nigeria. Then the, resource, the resources available in Nigeria what do you want to do with them? What about, you know, knowledge-based economy? What, some, some countries, they don't have any resources. But the, the knowledge, because we have the population, how do we now maximize the usefulness of our population if they are well-educated? Mm. There are 10 million Nigerian children out of school. The, the level of poverty is 65%. The unemployment is about 65%. 
what are you going to do? Okay. Uh, Nigerian youths want to listen to them. They are unemployed. You, 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 you have been in the Senate. Yes. The implication of asking the president to come and appear before it is like uh, a, a state of the nation address because you are, are you appearing before the representatives of the people. What is the implication of this? Will he be answering questions from, from the floor? It's just going to be make a presentation and he will take a bow and go. There is a national caucus of the party which comprises of the president, the vice president, the senior president, and the leadership, the speaker and the leadership, the chairman of the party, the secretary of the party. They should sit down and, you know, look at what he is going to say on the floor of the Senate. You shouldn't go there and, you know, take them by surprise. It it's, must be its own government. And the Senate and the, and, the not, I mean, and the rest, they are part of the government. Can the president refuse to appear? I don't think it is in his own interest to do so because the entire world will be looking up to him. Is it obligatory by law for him to appear? When it is invited, he has to appear. How can I say I'm not coming? Is it a summon or an invitation? No, no, if, if they, they will have discussed it before. My own idea is that, Mr. President, you want, the entire world wants to listen to you. He speaks more when he's outside Nigeria than when he's here. So Nigerians don't know where we are going. Where will you be in another three years? So it's a good opportunity for him? Very good opportunity okay. for him to address particularly the unemployed youths. What are we expecting from your government? All right. I, I won't allow you to go without touching on the issue that concerns your party, the People's Democratic Party. There are uh, reconciliation moves being made by both sides uh, of the factions now, Senator McCarthy and Senator uh, uh, Sharif, and 12 uh, from each of the sides, like a football team, uh, 24 men are supposed to sit down and map out the strategy to reconcile the different factions. Do you think this is a reasonable move? Well, it is a reasonable move because the, we now have machines and machinery. Really? Who are the merchants? Who are the mercenaries? People that trade with the political parties. They trade with it. You can see the venom when you, 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 the game is not played according to your, your plan. You can, see, you can see the body language. Why are you so offended? Because these things happen. So Nigerian political parties have been consumed and assimilated by mercenaries and merchants mm. that trade and prosper on the, you know, at the, at the back of each other. In, in this case, is this Senator McCarthy that is a mercenary uh, and a merchant? Or who, Those are the people case? they are going to meet. They are available in each state. Or is this Senator Sheriff that you are No, these are the people that are causing problems. Okay. You, you wonder, what is the problem? What who, are you, who, who do you really think is the man behind all of this problem? I don't know. Because why? You, you're a chieftain of the party. Uh, you know, you should have an idea of... Uh, I, I'm telling you... Those people that are merchants and mercenaries. Who are those people? Political party is to them like um, a cash cow mm. that you must explore to make sure that you are on top of everything. Mm. And when there you want money wants to come, it must come to you. Do you when the power wants to come, it must come to you. Do you see the PDP crisis ending very soon? If the mercenaries and merchants want it to end, it will end tomorrow. Who do you see being the next chairman of the party? Shibola George. Really? Yes. Many thanks for coming on the program. It's my pleasure. Oh, it's a pleasure. Well, many thanks for being such a great company on behalf of the team right here on Channel Television. I'm sure Akimale. Bye for now.